Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the locations to get special equipment, weapons, and abilities that will help you on your journey in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now equipment is pretty sparse throughout the game, but if you know where to find it, you can get some really nice upgrades that will allow you to basically have a much easier time getting powered up in this game now also the abilities can be extremely powerful so knowing where all of these locations are will greatly help you in your journey now the one that we're going to right now is going to unlock a pretty awesome ability and this is outside of Kyotve's fortress now you will go to this fortress in the story um but you won't actually be able to get to this location before you get to this point in the story um, but once you get here, you're going to need to climb this waterfall. And eventually, as we climb up this waterfall, we're going to find um, basically a ledge where there's a cave that we can get inside of. Now, this cave isn't too far up the waterfall, so just keep an eye on your HUD on the top of your screen. You'll be able to see the distance, whether it's above you or below you. But once you get to it, it's a pretty large opening. Now, right now, for some reason in this game was it gonna pop up again previously when i came in here it said the area wasn't available but it actually is and that wall is breakable uh, and once we get back here we are going to get this book of knowledge these books of knowledge give us abilities like the rage of hellheim uh this is going to be a very very good ability to have and once you get your abilities they're gonna basically pop up here and you can assign them to your menu uh now this one here uh, you basically tackle the enemy and then time your attacks to deal a ton of damage. We're going to use this here in a little bit, uh, but let's go ahead and sign that to B and go to the next location. Next up, we want to get a bow that is available in Hervik's shipyard. You can actually get this right at the beginning of the game after saving your crew. All you've got to do is sail over. Now, you can raid this particular area, or you can stealth in and steal the wealth chest, which is what we're going to do right now. The one that we want to get is kind of like right in the center here, and um, should be relatively easy to acquire. You know how I said I was going to be stealthful? I decided that uh, since I said I was going to show off this new ability that we have, we might as well go ahead and give it a shot. We've got to time it with the prompts that pop up. Or, nope, we just gotta smash them, that's all. I was waiting for prompts to pop up, and they actually didn't. But it's really cool that we can tackle somebody like that. Excuse me? How dare you hit me? I'm starting to think maybe I should have just raided this particular area. But then I've got this ability that we unlocked that I've won to show off. There we go. And now we can just destroy their faces there we go <laughs> i feel like if you get a little bit better at it you can time the attacks a little bit better and do a better do uh, job with them excuse me sir you're in the way of me getting my loot and eh, good night now once you finish raiding this area or whatever you decide to do there's this uh, little hole right here next to what looks similar to a crane and this is where you're going to need to drop down to get this special bow. Now, there's a couple different types of bows in the game, but this recurve bow will, actu will actually allow you to have a much easier time at getting headshots. So it'll actually zoom in for you. This is a different bow that I've got here. But they work exactly the same. Let's go ahead and check the one out that we got. Uh, so if you really like that zoom in capabilities, you're definitely going to want this bow. It's got 57 attack, which is pretty darn good, especially for starting off. It's going to be like the best damage bow that you can get at the beginning of the game. And it zooms in really nice. You can get those headshots really far away. The next item we're going to get is actually just south of Hervik Shipyard on this little island that you can also access immediately after saving your crew. Now, once again, you can decide to raid this one, which if I ended up murdering everybody else before. I might as well just go ahead and murder them again because we are Vikings and the most Viking thing to do is to raid, right? 
So, uh, we're gonna take them out. We're gonna try and... Oh, God, I love long swords. They're just so good. We're gonna see if we can do a better job with this ability now. Ah, so if you time your punches good enough, you can actually combo that really good. So when you hit the right button or the left button, it'll prompt you to hit another button. And if you time those properly... Oh, we're about to die. What am I doing with my life? I need to get some some rations. Anyways, you gotta take all these dudes out, and then we'll be able to get the wealth chest that's here. This main building right here that they're gonna set fire on pretty much right off the bat is gonna have a wealth chest right here. Inside of this wealth chest is going to have a particularly good axe, uh, especially if you like uh, two-handed axes. It's going to be the Bone Biter, which is part of the Wolf Tree and increases stun after a heavy hit up to 10 times. And it comes with 69 attack. Giggity. Next up, we're going to get our first bow-based ability in the game. Now, this area down here is pretty easy to get to. And when you approach this, you're going to see a nice big tower here. If you approach from the northeast side, there's going to be this gap in the fence. And then all we need to do to get to this particular chest is to head straight back all the way until the very back. And we're going to hang a right. Now, if we look up right here, you're going to see the ladder that you need to get up to. Now, there's a guy right there, but if we hop up right here, he's probably still going to see us. All right. But we can actually just ignore all these guys. And we got to take out this one. Which should be easy. Excuse me, sir. That's what I thought. Ah, bye bye And then you need to go down this particular ladder right here. Now, right at the bottom of this, you're going to be able to see the skill. The Book of Knowledge will be right here. All you got to do is just pick up that Book of Knowledge and you can hang out this door right here. And then just leave the way you came back in. Now, the ability you get is called the Thorn of Slumber. An arrow marked with Sven Thorn symbol puts targets to sleep almost instantly, which, if you're playing a very stealthy route, might actually be very helpful. This next ability is probably one of my favorites. It's actually in a location that you will end up in the main storyline, but if you're not paying attention, you may very well miss out on this ability. Uh, so it is in the town Notfall, and in the back corner of the uh, town, there's actually a cave. Now, inside of this cave is going to be the skill that you want. And you just need to get into the back of this cave. Pretty easy to get to. Just going to have to hop over this particular wall. And then just behind this is going to be the Book of Knowledge. Now, the ability that you get is Throwing Axe Fury. Hurl throwing axes at enemies in range. It does a ton of damage and can come in very clutch. Are they good? There we go. So depending on how many people are in your area, it will throw axes at multiple people and deal a lot of damage to the final person that it hits. The next up, we're going to be heading to the Marauder's Den, which is pretty close to the location we just were in. There's a couple different ways to go about doing this. You can try and jump off the cliff that's just behind the Marauder's Camp and hop onto the house, and you might be able to even jump across this without getting seen. Or you can take out all the Marauders in the camp and then hop on top. Once you loot this chest, you are going to get your first Warhammer. Now, if you are really interested in using hammers, this one will be a pretty good choice. And it is going to be called the Warhammer. It's got 50 attack and 77 stun and increases heavy damage after a heavy finisher up to five times. Next up, we're going to be going a little bit more west to a place called Eek Undersund, I think. I probably mispronounced that, but there is a very large building here that we need to get inside. Uh, and there's a couple different ways to actually sneak in here. Um, you can sneak in through that little entrance that we just did, but our main goal is to get to that building up there. There will be quite a few people around. You can either decide to assassinate them and take them out, or you can just stealth your way up to the building. Now, once we get inside, there is going to be a mandatory fight that we will have to contend with. There are multiple ways to sneak into this particular area of the map. Uh, but right in the front of this building, there is going to be an entrance 
And there will be somewhat of a, not really a mini boss, but a big chonky dude sitting in here waiting for you. He is a woe bringer. You can assassinate him if you want, uh, but he's really not that difficult to take out either, especially if you've already picked up some of the other skills like this. And, oh, he will potentially have a couple of friends. So just keep that in mind. We just got to take care of these dudes. Man, that dude is really quick. I don't know how to feel about this. There we go. All right, we're just going to have to counter him then. I think he tired himself out. <laughs> uh, bye bye Right now we have alerted everybody. You will have to pay attention to these, like, uh, they're basically alerts, like an alert trap. If you run into those, you will make a lot of noise and people around will aggro. So, anyways, the chest that you want to grab is right here. You'll grab that and you will get a rather nice, fast weapon. The weapon you'll receive is the Yingling Sax. And it's got low attack, but it has insanely high attack speed of 80 and a crit chance. So this is definitely going to be a weapon if you're playing like a fast build. You're going to want one of these. The final item on this list will be in Kavote's Fortress, which you can access when you actually get to this area or you can come back to it. If you come back to it, it's going to be more difficult to get because you're going to have to actually sneak through the fortress. Um, but if you do it once you clear it out, that's a longhouse that's next to the main building will have your first flail weapon. Now, I've never actually used... Well, I, I did use a flail weapon for a little bit. I was not a big fan of the flail weapons, but they do a decent amount of damage, and I'm sure they will appeal to a certain audience as well. Now, this will increase attack after a heavy finisher and has 73 base damage and 79 stun. So it does seem like a pretty good weapon. Uh, but that is all of the items and abilities that you will want to get in the starting area before you head to England. It'll definitely help you out a lot with your playthrough. If you don't happen to get all of these while you're here, you can actually head back to England and to Norway when you want to. When you go to the world menu, all you need to go is go to your atlas and you can switch from England to Norway and back and forth if you so desire. But I do hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.